Woof da. Haven't seen the sun for so many days. I don't know what to do here. Right. Hey guys, Chuck House of Mopar. Welcome back. It's your first time. Welcome to you. Um, work on Mopars around here. The satellite that's going to be leaving is sitting here, doubling as a workbench. And I'm back on the CUDA today. Uh, I started thinking, okay, two things here we got going on. And trust me, I'm not doing this for content. <clears throat> okay, it's my overflow bottle. I haven't spilled a drop on anywhere with that. I would like something more solid. So I have a bit of space under here that I think this little $35 Chineseum thing from Amazon would probably fit. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't checked. Um, it doesn't fit. This video is going to be short. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, I don't like what I'm seeing. I didn't know it was so tall. Rats. Let's stick it down there, I guess. All kinds of stuff. Anyway. Well, if that part doesn't make it to the video, it's going back to China. And, but what I did, what will happen today, if you'll notice, this car is a digital 6 plus MSD ignition. Well, it has a two step capability. All right, two step is when you stand on the throttle and it'll hold the car at a predetermined RPM based on one of these down here, dials. It's also a rev limiter. Uh, throttle retard, you know, retard for uh, nitrous. So, I believe, where's it at? I got a blue wire down here, this should be it. There it is, see that? I've done a little investigating. <laughs> I have no idea how far the blue wire goes. They just stuck it in there to hide it, or what? So, yeah, if this thing doesn't work, well, whatever, it's 35 bucks, but I'll send it back. Anyway, all right, let me uh, get some lights out, get some fender covers out, and get to getting. There we go. Okay, so let me back up a little. I'm going to go to the drag strip with this car. Uh, on a previous video, I put in a torque strap, homemade, put in a drive shaft loop, and I put in uh, three inch stud axles in the back, okay? Uh, before I had done a uh, line lock, and that was just for funsies, just for being an idiot, a jackass, smoking your tires, and I did that quite well here in the garage. It's sitting right there and right there. So anyway, I've decided to do this NMCA meet coming up in a couple weeks. So uh, I did the safety stuff and I discovered that this box, which I did not purchase or put in the car, has a two-step, which we talked about, <clears throat> limit your RPM. I think guys, what I'm gonna do and you can comment in if you want because it's going to be too late when you do. I'm going to hook up the pink wire, the blue wire is the two step. I'm going to do it, uh, route it back through there, and I'm going to hook it up to the switch for the uh, line lock. Bad idea. Then I'd have my line lock and my two step going at the same time. I'll still have to use a foot brake because it won't hold. The line lock won't hold this thing. Well, whatever. So anyway, um, it's wet down there. One other thing, you guys may have noticed, you see where my fan is relative to my shroud? Yeah, it's not even in there. And I know, it should be halfway in. That's supposed to be the uh, clutch fan for this car. I got plenty of room. Um, it doesn't heat up. I don't overheat at all. Factory 26 inch AC radiators is an AC car. I had that record actually yeah it was uh, quite plugged with blue silicone and other stuff so anyway yeah the blue wire is down there goes through there comes to here I'm not gonna put this thing in even though they got a cool sticker 
I'm going to keep this sticker. They won't know. And because uh, I don't feel like screwing with it, I'll be honest with you. I don't feel like bending up a bunch of metal. And uh, it would be quite ugly under there. There's not a good spot. I got the bracket for the, uh, you know, the battery support there. I thought I could make a bracket out of that steel and do that. But, I mean, this is a street car and I'm just posing anyway. So, we're just going to keep this here. One of the guys commented earlier, racer, he says that'll pass tech. So, I hope so. We'll see. Okay, let me uh, get to getting here. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Let's move this a little, huh? All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm running 16 gauge wire, courtesy of the local Ace Hardware. Um, I have bought, I like this stuff, okay, better than convoluted tubing. It's just a cleaner look to me. So I'd had some of this Amazon and I was doing a lot so I bought one of these. But what I guess I've used this <clears throat> probably on the satellite. I didn't realize it doesn't have a slit in the side. Which blows. So uh, there's no cut in it. I cut along the, uh, the where the, you know, it's folding in half and that uh, does that. And I cut on the side. And that's more better but it's still gonna fray still gonna fray hi and uh that's no good that sucks so i'm gonna have to get more of that but what i can do is run the wire so i've run it through there I'll show you what i'm gonna do come off of there yeah all right so this goes in there here's it the uh line lock wire I'm going to hook it, I'm going to connect it, run the blue wire along here, back to there, we'll join up inside of here, and we'll join them together over here. Anyway, oh man, I guess this thing's filming this clip, anyway, okay, that's where I'm at. Well, what's a YouTube video without a little time lapse to fill in the blanks? Cue the music. And there we go. fairly comfortable I got my legs up <sighs> things I'm doing for cinematography so what do you guys like better do you like polka music for the those videos time-lapse I like country I actually like both I like country and Western there we go <laughs> you know where that's from don't you the Blues Brothers guys I got uh, I got all these movie clips. Most of them are wrong in my head. Ugh, I'm losing it all the time. In fact, you know, uh, so I asked these guys, you want to be famous? And uh, there we go. That's from Young Guns. Remember that uh, Brat Pack movies in the 80s? It, Milo Estevez plays Billy the Kid. And uh, he's kind of weird, but he'd ask the guys right before he'd shoot him, he says, I'll make famous. I'm like, yeah, he'll be famous. He'll be dead. But anyway, yeah. Uh, it's actually not going too bad. 
I thought I, I'd only need a short piece of that tubing to cover up up there, but I don't have a long enough piece. I had some. I can make this thing work from under here. Uh, yeah, I'll button this up and see you guys on the top side. Here we, here we are. I'm just gonna leave the what you see here. When I get a new piece of this stuff, I'll run it around, have to clip all them off. But anyway, she's sorted now, fairly sorted. Uh, it's kind of a mess. <clears throat> it's not a mess under the dash. Everything's just dangling a little bit. So, yeah, the spice is in there somewhere. She's back. So the two-step, I don't know how this will focus. Let's see. Yeah, let me see my finger. All right, is that focusing? I have no idea. So, RPM two-step rev limiter. So I have her set at thousands, hundreds. I got her set about 2,500. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Let me move some vehicles around. I'll get, uh, mostly get the truck out of the way. And uh, we'll warm her up and put her in the driveway and see if she rev limits. Jeez, I swear. Well, in case you didn't wonder, or you did wonder or didn't guess or did guess, I tried it. Uh, just because what the hell, right? Uh, and it wasn't working. But I think I had it set wrong. I just found a freaking nut laying in my driveway. I don't know where the hell that came from. I guess, I don't know. I bought all that hardware just like that for this uh, torque strap. Alright, neighbors are out gardening. at about 2500 so we'll turn it on yeah I think it was like 6,000 before push the button I heard the relay click for the line lock now I'm gonna run it to 3,000 she should hit 2500 so I don't know. I uh, yeah, I set it four thousand this time, so the switch is on. I didn't check power to that blue wire where I spliced it, but I mean, I hear that? Pretty sure I got them crimped right in there. Let's try it again. I run her up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't have any power to the I don't have any power to the blue box, blue line. Um sweat bees. That sucks. It's good and it sucks at the same time because now I gotta get back under the dash. I do have power to here, you know. Check that just to make sure. Of course it makes noise, but yeah, for some reason. I didn't do it right. Anyway, I'm done for today. I'm gonna have a beer and uh, once again contemplate my life's decisions. Here we go. The next day. Back at her. Look at this mess I got under here. I'm gonna have to square that away. This is my power block or whatever you want to call it hanging uh what i had done was i have no heater box thank god and i had velcroed it up there big chunk of velcro but yeah because this irregular back it comes loose so i mean this is like during a surgery you know you don't want to let them, you don't want to walk in on a surgery so um until it's stitched up. Yeah, I had it wired wrong. Let's see here. I'm still an idiot. I didn't turn it on. Live action. Live action. There we go. Yep. Alright. Now if you probably heard that, that was a solenoid for the whatchamacallit? People call it a line lock jab this in here and the light is on indeed on so yeah I just screwed up let me get this tidied up and uh i'm gonna have to wait a minute guys it's a sunday morning so nobody wants to hear this thing running out here making a lot of noise so anyway yeah here we go all right <clears throat> i think i got her fixed just had it wired on the wrong plug, go figure. Uh, I got my mess tidied up in here again. Still some tools, that's fine, because I'm sure there's chunks of wire and zip ties and everything else laying on there. So I'm gonna get you guys hooked up on the inside of the door, get the CUDA warmed up, and uh, see what's what. All right, here we go. I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up. I gotta put my seatbelt on so that the buzzer doesn't go. Ah, uh, <laughs> geez, I'm an idiot. <clears throat> so, naturally, I thought I'd test this thing. I don't always. Usually, what you see is what I'm seeing for the first time, too, but not today. So, <laughs> it works. But watch this. All right. So, let's start the car. Start the car. is I got my button here and my line lock and uh, I can hold this, do a burnout, a little limit to whatever and go from there. <clears throat> All right, so first you got to turn this on. I've got it set at 3000 RPM. So watch this. So I hold the button down. Got to run it up. She's staying at 3000. Let the button go. She's still at 3,000. We shut it off. <laughs> Christ. It's hot all the time. Oh, crap. I got to crawl under there again. I just got everything put back. Uh, this sucks, kind of. I'm an idiot. Well, that's what this is all about. Watching things go well and things not so well. This ain't this ain't a big deal, clearly. But uh, yeah, it sucks. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm not full with it anymore today. Um, I think I'm gonna get a water bottle, like kids' water bottle. Change that, make it a little more substantial than that water water bottle. Uh, used to have 50 of them around. Half of them had no lids. 
time more. Uh, I think I'm going to wipe down the engine bay <clears throat> and go from there. Yeah, I'll get this two-step figure fixed because you can't just limit it to 3,000. Where am I? 3,000 RPM. Anyway, so I think I'm going to kick this video out on the 7th, which is the weekend before uh, this NMSC ANMRA meet in Madison, Illinois. I think it's, you can just look them up, you know, and uh, they have standings. So, uh, yeah, if you see me, happen to be in town come by you know what the car looks like i'll have these decals on the slapped on the side probably goes flying off just like that i think they'll stay i'm not so sure anyway that's all i got um thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time see you